The fire has been raging for a day, growing exponentially in terrain hard to access by firefighters. So far, humans and livestock have gotten out unscathed. We have to go by the message that we're strong and we're resilient, but people always have to be aware of the risks of fire at this time of year. Close to 100 properties on the Lytton First Nation and another 50 in the Thompson Nicola district have been evacuated, but getting out isn't easy. The tiny ferry servicing Lytton's west side is out of commission because of high water on the Fraser River. Most are taking a gravel road about 80 kilometers north to an evacuation center in Lillooet. Well, it's hard to be on the move and on the run, especially if you're elderly or disabled. We know last night uh, two people had to ride on the hood of a car because there was no other room for them. The fire is threatening homes on the other side of the river from where Lytton's main area burned to the ground last year. Oh no, not again. For those who lost their home in 2021, it's a painful reminder. There's a lot of people though that, that I've spoken to in the last day and a half here that you know, went through severe PTSD and, and trauma and, and this fire has just really triggered a lot, of, a lot of emotions for those people. Locals say when the fire broke out, the community pulled together to protect houses. The people that help are just fabulous and people just pitch in and help and uh, they save homes by doing so. 80 firefighters, six helicopters and three air tankers fighting to hold the flames back. Karen Larson, CBC News, Lytton, B.C.